This is when all the problems start happening. I can't believe it's been a whole year of turning this hoarder house into someone's next dream home. This journey has been insane. After we finally got our permits approved, we hit the ground running, which means this slip has officially turned into a whole new build. In just a matter of weeks, we framed the house, put up walls, started installing windows, painting fences, planting trees, and just turning this house into a home. I'm honestly having so much fun, so follow along because it's only a matter of weeks until we're officially done with the flip hey guys it's tiffany what is freaking up you guys welcome to another episode of the flip i'm giving you guys a lot of content because things are happening so fast apparently the hardwood floors came in the trees came in the ficuses are here all right here are all the plants that came in look these are all the ficuses. and then here are the two giant trees we are putting in the backyard and the front yard hold on you guys can't see this Look at this. Look at all these trees. They're so mature and pretty. I'm actually really happy we got bigger ones instead of like the little tiny ones that are going to grow later. So pretty, super excited. Is this what you've been working on all morning? Yes. Yes? Wow. We will have it well. I know. <laughs> Look, did you do the fence this morning as well? Yes. Or is that yesterday? Yeah, today? No, this morning. Wow. So we are planning on painting the fence today. So we still need to build out this part of the fence, but how pretty. So cool. What was that? 24 now? Wow, it's gonna be so pretty. So remember how I said we were gonna have about 32 ficuses? Turns out there is gonna be 50 now. We needed them to be really full so that you can't see any of the neighbors because I know that was something you guys were talking about, but it is very important for us that like there's privacy, you don't see like all the other neighbors also because like the fences that we have they're all different and they're all good fences so we don't want to like get rid of a fence if it's already in good condition so instead of having like fences that are all different on all sides i don't know if you guys have noticed that i don't know if you guys can see look this fence is different than this fence which is different than this fence which is different than that fence so to make it look a lot more appealing, we are gonna line 50 ficuses along this entire back fence and side fence. And then we can't really add anything over here just because we are gonna be building a driveway so that potentially you can use this garage as a driveway. Most likely it's never gonna be used as a garage. So we can't add ficuses because then it'll really take away from like how like far you can drive in. We're not doing that. But I'm gonna go inside and see the hardwood floors because I heard they are slightly installed. <laughs> I'm, what is this? called forklift forklift yeah. i'm on the forklift it's gonna explode be, be ready to jump okay <laughs> boom boom am i driving i don't think i trust you but oh, <laughs> oh. you don't mean you don't trust in the driver <laughs> can tell these trees well so bright these trees are gonna be massive look how tall they are so you can see the fence is that tall these trees are like four feet taller than them if not five feet taller than them almost as tall as the house which is 10 feet on the inside add an extra three feet for the foundation it's like 13 feet tall you are not gonna be able to see this building and i believe this is the neighbor's garage actually not his actual house and i heard inside his house is really really nice because manuel actually went inside his house he's a firefighter and they went inside of it checked it out because he came over and wanted to see our house and i kind of wish i was there that day to see his house because i would absolutely love that but yeah the fence is looking so good we are gonna paint the house i wore my painting clothes cargo pants not so much this shirt's painting shirt but it's okay if it gets dirty i'll just wash it it'll be fine actually let me do a full fit for you guys here's the painting fit <laughs> Also, everyone's been asking me about these pants on Instagram. They are from Cider. Super inexpensive, really, really great quality. Like, I was actually shocked at how good these are. These pants, great quality, they come in a bunch of colors. I have the white ones and then I have the green ones, but I might buy one in another color as well. All right, we are inside the house and I don't think you guys are ready to see how beautiful the hardwood floors are. Adding these hardwood floors has made this house feel like a home. Like, I can't tell you guys, it feels so warm and inviting in here now. Like, before it felt very sterile and stale. It's so pretty so of course they're not done yet because they just worked on it yesterday and they're doing such a great job and making sure that everything looks really good so let me show you guys all right here she is eight inch planks super wide super beautiful I feel like from the other angle it's better it's like playing the floor is lava okay floor is lava floor is lava okay 
just so pretty. So pretty. What do you think, Becca? I know the picture looks a little different, but I mean. I think it's actually really, really pretty. Yeah. I think it's gonna look really good, especially with like the lighter colored countertops. Yeah, I think it'll brighten everything. Got the alarm set up. We're at the tile store, picking up our tiles. These are the tiles. This is the master bathroom tiles that we've been waiting for. This feels like a lot of tiles. Oh no. <laughs> we're trying to figure out, we're trying to move this tree and it's a big struggle. Oh, Tipping over. We're struggling with this tree. This tree was not supposed to come in today, but it is. And now we can't plant it for a couple days because our landscaper's not coming in a couple days. So we're afraid that this guy's gonna die on us. So we're trying to figure out what to do with him because he is all fucked up, as you guys can clearly tell. In the tree planting day. Poor tree, I feel so bad for this tree. I'm inside the master bedroom right now. Look how tall these trees are. They're so, so tall. Okay, so it looks like they already started painting it without us because Manuel, Kathy, and I went to the bathroom store. While we were gone, they started on the paint and I need to head out, so I'm not gonna help, which I'm kind of bummed about, but it's looking good. It's looking so good. Oh my so God. strong. <laughs> Look at Jose Luis. <laughs> he just went this way and now he has to go back that way with the door. So this is the first room where all the hardwood is in it. It's covered with all these boxes because people are like walking in and out. I forget, I'm at a construction site, it's hard to talk. Here are the cabinets for the island, it's so pretty. It took over a week to get these stained. I'm not entirely sure why, but it looks so good, it's so pretty. Definitely dark, definitely different than what people normally do, but I see this being the next trend coming in because everyone is tired of white, or at least I am. I wanted us to go dark and then people we got Santiago here. Are you doing one more? Yeah. Okay. No. You can stop dying and you're fine. Following Santiago. <laughs> you check the fence? I did, it's so pretty. It looks so good. Is this all you? You did it by yourself? Wow. It's crazy. I have said I was gonna leave like four times because I need to get back to Zoe's since Matt is not home right now and I keep staying longer. But now we're about to paint because I actually do want to help in any way I can because I feel kind of useless just standing around. So I followed Santiago around, I followed Jose Luis around, I went with Manuel to the bathrooms. So it's time for me to do a little bit of work. That's what it feels like. Okay, so I didn't finish because pizza is here. I did a crappy job, but I'm gonna finish it later, I promise. Where was it? I was like, damn, it's bad. I think it's So we almost finished the wall. It looks really good. It looks like we own a nursery. Look at all these trees. So pretty. Okay, sorry for the beeping, guys. Um, I'm like a couple minutes away from the house and I'm too lazy to put on my seatbelt. We're headed to the house right now. I haven't seen it since Friday. Today is Monday and they did work on it on Saturday. The um, landscapers came by and added a bunch of the trees into the actual 
dirt. <laughs> Gustavo did it. Gustavo is the same guy that actually landscapes my house weekly, but is also the one that designed my entire backyard and front yard. And I'm not kidding when I say I have people knocking on my door at least once a month asking me who landscaped or designed my front yard just because it looks so nice. I don't think I've ever fully showed you guys my front yard just because I don't want people finding out where I live and stuff, but it is so beautiful, like so, so beautiful. So we're at the house. I need to find a spot to park at. There isn't much parking. Like literally my front yard is so, so pretty. I get people asking me all the time. I get my friends asking me all the time. I literally get people sit in front of my house just to stare at my house. It's really weird, honestly, but I get it. So we are hiring Gustavo to do the front yard because he's just that amazing. Oh, look at the trees. Hello guys. So I'm currently at the house. We're like so close, so close to finishing and this is when all the problems start happening. So we are finding a couple issues and I just thought I would be honest with the entire process of building a house, especially the amount of work we're putting into this house. There are gonna be a lot of hiccups. I've honestly kind of like shielded you guys or kind of just been too embarrassed to talk about the hiccups. But I think it's important to realize that like when I'm doing this, everything is not going smooth and I don't want anyone to think that this shit is easy because it's not. Also, why is my camera dirty? <laughs> Sorry, but I wasn't here on Saturday and neither was Kathy or Manuel who are also like a part of this entire process and I guess some of the workers brought coffee over which is totally fine but they spilled it all across our walls that were freshly painted and literally did not tell us or even tried to clean it up so I'll show you guys that also we're seeing a bunch of like nicks and dents in the walls we don't know who did it, but no one is admitting to it. And of course, it's an accident. We don't care if it's an accident, but at least like take responsibility. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that are <laughs> not going so well. Also, on better news, all of our chandeliers, lighting, everything came in. Um, some things we need to return. Anthropology is giving us a hard time, so I DM'd them because we called them to see if we can return some stuff. They're not letting us return it. We did technically order everything over 30 days ago, but they still haven't sent us everything we need. So I didn't want us to return anything until we saw everything to compare each other. But now we can't return the things that we actually want to return. Besides the point, it's been a rough day. I haven't really vlogged too much. I've been here for like almost an hour now. But let me show you guys things I'm seeing. First off, a huge dent right here, most likely from the hardwood getting installed. And if you walk over here, we have this as well. Maybe it's hard to tell, but like, how does this even happen? Like, were they drinking a two liter Pepsi? Do they shake it and just like throw it against the wall? So as you can tell, they did not bother trying to clean it at all. There's no smudge marks or anything. They just left it. But in good news, we have this. We have this happening. This is the patio slash deck. I'm honestly embarrassed to tell you guys how ridiculous this wood is. This wood is $10,000 just for the wood for the deck. Everything is so expensive, but this is really great quality wood. It's EPIPA certified wood. I don't know, it's like really, really high quality, so it can withstand the outside. So it's gonna look so good. We also got this tree planted. Unfortunately, they could not plant it higher, which is a little disappointing. We are expecting the tree to be much taller, but now it is sitting like three or four feet underneath the deck, which is kind of annoying. They couldn't build it any higher because of the root system of the trees. And we can't move it now because if you guys remember, this tree was struggling. We struggled with this tree a couple days ago. The roots were exposed. We were really worried this tree was gonna die. It's not a cheap tree at all. And we can't move it again. They put it in and we can't move it again because that will cause a lot of damage to the root system, which would make the tree die. It's kind of fucked up, but in a few years, it should grow much taller than this so we won't worry about it. For the aesthetic of it, it's a little annoying how short it is. Here is the tree from a different angle. Do you guys see how short it is? It's not gonna bother most people. It's just bothering us a little bit. We expected the tree to be a little bit taller. Whoa, that's massive. That's so much bigger than I expected it to be. But this one is better. I like this one better than that one. Yeah, I agree. All right, compare the two. This one's so much smaller. We're returning this guy. 
All right, I'm gonna be ballsy and walk out on the deck, but I wanted to show you guys something I haven't showed you guys yet. The ficus trees are in. I will show you guys the other side in a little bit. They're also working on the bathroom tiles that we picked up the other day. So pretty. Okay, so while he's finishing that, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at the ficus trees. I honestly thought the ficus would be taller than this building. They will grow taller, but I totally forgot that you actually have to plant the ficuses underground and not above ground, which is why they look so short all of a sudden, but they will grow taller. Just look how beautiful this tile is. These are $18 a square foot. You can see that they are just made so, so well. Every single piece is very unique. They each have its own unique texture to it. It's so pretty. All right, so we have it's some pendants. Three in a row, but we don't like the color of it because online it looked white and they're so yellow. Is that a good height? I'm um, because like the 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 island is gonna be right here, right? Yeah. Forty three. Forty three. It's another day at the house. We're heading on over there because the electrician came today and all day yesterday we planned out where to put all of the light fixtures because we bought more than enough light fixtures so we have like extra light fixtures of course so we're trying to figure out which ones to put in which rooms it's such a beautiful day it's like 74 degrees right now it's perfect okay i don't know if you guys heard me but all day yesterday kathy and i and manuel were trying to figure out which sconces and which light fixtures and which chandeliers go in which freaking room because we pretty much bought more than we needed on purpose so that we can figure out if we like them or not. Unfortunately, some of these like spots have really bad return policies and it's kind of been past 30 days and they've all been sitting at like the PO box for the house, but the electrician's here, so I'm gonna double check that everything looks good and everything is in the right spots. And I think everyone's probably gonna leave in like 30 minutes, so we don't have a lot of time. So, I'm excited to see it though. All day yesterday, this is what we were doing. We labeled every single one. So this is the kitchen sconces, kitchen sconces. This is the living room chandelier. But yeah, we like labeled every single one. That's what we were doing all day yesterday. It's so loud in here today. Okay, a little update. We were at the house. I've been here for like almost an hour now. Not much to update you guys on. Unfortunately, the electrician told us he couldn't work today, so he's coming tomorrow instead. So right now we're waiting on Gustavo to come in and replant the trees. We are gonna replant this tree as well that I showed you guys yesterday because it's bothering all of us that it's sitting so low. I do think if we do this, it might kill the trees. So we're gonna give the tree a few days to like figure shit out get back into the ground, be happy, and then we're gonna fuck with him again. The tree is way too low because we're building out a fence for the deck so people don't fall out. And if we built a fence, then they would have to cut off these branches, which I don't like that idea of cutting off healthy, beautiful branches just for a fence. So we are gonna raise it. So today, they built out this retainer wall. They're gonna add more dirt to it and then just like lift the tree up so it sits a couple feet higher so that these branches, which I don't know if you guys can see, are sitting about a foot and a half off of the deck, won't be in the way of the fence. But this guy is called a Palo Verde tree. I'm not entirely sure if that's the English word, but it's the Spanish word for this tree. But we are all here waiting for the landscapers to come by. Um, they did add more hardwood. They finished the hardwood in the living room. They're still working on the hardwood in this master bedroom, except we only have one and a half boxes of this hardwood left. And I don't know if you guys can tell, we still have half the room left. So we're kind of worried we're not gonna have enough hardwood. So we're gonna have to order more. Like this is barely enough. Like we'll need like one or two more pieces from a third box. So we're trying to figure that out as well. And then inside of here, they're still working on the tiles. It smells really good in here, weirdly. Kind of smells like gasoline mixed with alcohol mixed with a new home build. <laughs> it's a really weird scent, but it smells good. And then we are going with the dark, dark paint, by the way. I know a lot of you guys liked the light green paint. I asked you guys on Instagram. An overwhelming amount of you guys said green. We're gonna go with the dark. If we don't like the dark, we're gonna paint it green because I really wanna see this bathroom dark, I think. Dark features are just really appealing to me right now. I'm kind of over all the white. We were too late on changing the tiles because we already ordered them, which I already knew, but I really, really wanted the tiles in here dark as well. Like this entire bathroom dark would have been such a vibe. So we're gonna just add the dark color, which, I don't know if you see, 
is actually lighter on camera now because when it's freshly painted, it looks really, really dark, but you can actually see that it's a little bit lighter than black. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful tree. Sí. Is Cuidado careful? Careful. Okay. Oh, oh. The tree is in. She's in. You're ready. Come on, Miro. Ah. You see how it doesn't look. Muy bonito. Que está contigo para acá, güey. No, pero está bien todo. Puede salir. You're going to be able to get out? Look at me like I'm all... <laughs> I know. Your attention to detail though was amazing, Kathy. Like, I didn't even notice the tree was crooked. <laughs> and you're like, it's crooked. <laughs> like, that's, this is why you get paid to do what you do. <laughs> Part of every single day Oh, no matter what I do I'll be lost in you